download just tons of dash cam footage. A bunch of code on a computer screen isn't typically what comes to mind when you think of driving. We're like a little over 2 million lines of code. But for Sean Takratok, it's the first step to solving what he says is a complex problem. Transportation sucks. Like that's basically like at its core. After more than two years of collecting data. We'll run thousands and thousands of hours of like simulations. And programming it. He says he has a solution that brings what's on his computer screen to life. It's called Mosey. You'll be able to kind of mosey through your city. And soon you'll start seeing these self-driving vehicles around North Texas. So just building a mesh network of these vehicles on predefined routes, kind of like a trolley with, you know, like no track, right? Their first pilot program is slated for March with a local government they can't publicly name yet. It's going to be shuttling, you know, like government employees uh, between six government buildings. Then another later this year at JP Morgan and Chase's Plano campus. The range is about 100 miles on like a single charge um, and then it holds about 12 passengers uh, uh, seating and standing and then the top speeds up to 45 miles an hour. The small team at their Dallas headquarters are finishing the design. So we kind of landed on the cinematic one. Retrofitting the vehicles and doing lots and lots of testing. What you see here is actually what the vehicle sees. So everything, not only people, chairs, cars, plants, everything. Sean says they're learning from other autonomous vehicle companies like Cruz who suspended their fleet nationwide after being banned in California and is now facing a handful of federal investigations. Like you can't geofence a part of the city and just drop some, you know, kind of like robot on wheels down and kind of expect it to just kind of coexist. Like and doing things differently so they don't run into the same issues. In Dallas, I'm Janelle Ford.